Snap back to Randall. It's a zone read, and Washington State stops Arizona. Peyton Palour in on the stick with Parker Henry, and they sniffed it out from the get-go on fourth and one. It's a loss of yardage and a turnover on downs for WSU. I came up here, and as soon as I stepped on campus, I, I knew this was the place I wanted to go. I knew not a lot about WSU. My parents didn't go here. My parents didn't go to college. You know, I remember the first time stepping on campus, I knew this, you know, I just had that gut feeling that this was the place I was supposed to be. Uh, being a walk-on was, it's difficult. You know, at first you show up, you, you don't get the reps. Sometimes at practice you don't get any reps. You, you just gotta wait for your time and make sure that you're prepared. You just gotta really work. I think the biggest thing that I've learned from being a walk-on is persistence and just keep going at it. There's a reason why they call him the bulldog. He's built like a like a like a dog, you know. Like he's real, he's short and stocky. He's got a got a meat face. And the older guys, like anytime I just got in a drill or anything, they just start barking. You know, protects his teammates. He's a guy that everybody looks up to. Um, fearless, uh, plays uh, the game with the reckless abandon, but um, will do anything for uh, for the guys next to him. And uh, that's why the guys follow him because he's a true leader. Parker's definitely looked at been looked at as a leader of the team uh, in the locker room. Um, the guy has a missing front tooth, you know, which is uh, a nice little sidebar, but that's, you know, he's not going to get the thing fixed because he's worried about football practice and uh, the rest of the guys on the team. So it's, uh, it's just great to see him kind of be rewarded for everything that he's done in this program. Everybody really can see how invested he is into the program and how much he wants us to succeed. He's definitely a top leader and I, he's been, he's a captain now. Uh, this offseason, so uh, he's definitely come a long way for sure. You know, being on the team, I've formed some of the best relationships. I know lifelong relationships that, other than me not being on the team, there's no way I would have had. Uh, Gabe Marks, you know, a kid who was raised in a single parent family from Venice, California, with tattoos all over the place. I don't think, you know, I, I would think that he'd be my best friend coming here, but he's ended up being my best friend. Tons of relationships like that, things that I would not have if I didn't come here. I guess the diversity of our friendship uh, allowed for us to like bring other people in. You know, we've become a team, we've become a brotherhood, and I think that correlated on the field, no doubt, us having the best season that we've had in a long time, and I think it was a product of us being as close of a team as we are. We got a chance to really uh, put our imprint on the team that we were going to make sure that it was a team that worked hard and had the work ethic of a walk-on, you know what I mean? But but didn't play like a walk-on, played like a like a five-star guy. The Stanford game with the two picks, you know, one got called back, but it was it was a moment I'll never forget running into the crim zone, just the whole stadium just going crazy and being able to celebrate with my teammates right in front of our biggest student section. You know, the bowl game was just a great experience winning that bowl game. It was just a a weight lifted off our shoulders saying, you know, we're here, we can do this, and we're excited for next year. Coach Mealy, who was the special teams coach at the time, and uh, he called me and, and told me that they're going to be able to put me on scholarship, and uh, that was a moment I will never forget for the rest of my life. Uh, probably the proudest moment I've ever had in my life. He deserves it. He's earned it. He did all the things that we asked of him. You know, keep your GPA up, you know, be a good teammate, uh, performance on the field, and every role we've given him, he just keeps on you know, acquiring more things that he needs to do to help this team, you know, progress. I called my parents on the phone and just said, Mom and Dad, you guys don't have to help me anymore. And uh, I think we all just sat there and cried on the phone for about 10 minutes. Um, not only for myself, but it's, it's meant more to my family. Uh, my mother has multiple sclerosis. Uh, she's had that for about 15 years. The financial burden of trying to help me go to college uh, that they no longer have has really freed things up for her. The whole scholarship has just been a blessing all around and I, uh, I thank God every day. Thank you to the Cougar Athletic Fund members. Not only for my scholarship, it, it's, it's helped my, myself and my family out immensely, uh, something that I'll never be able to repay. Without you and your money that you've donated, I would not be where I'm at today. I, I don't know where I'd be, I don't know if I'd be in college. And, you know, you've, you've done so much for me and my family. I'm uh, forever grateful. Thank you very much.